Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to go into a slightly technical lesson now. I'm going to show you how to turn this image into a sepia toned image to give it a vintage look and also to add a texture to it so it kind of looks old. So what you're going to need is you're going to need an image, you are going to need a uh, texture and I've used a dark texture with white lines on it. I'll just show you that one. Okay, I think this works best if you've got a light image as I have. Um, so these are free around the internet. If you look for free PSE te textures, free Photoshop textures. If you're a member of Graphics Fairy, you will be able to get some there. Um, so the first thing you need to do is place your image on our standard size background. And then from there, what we're going to do is create a new layer up here. And on this layer, we're going to create a solid color. <coughs> oh, excuse me, please. <laughs> so we're going to click solid color. And then we're going to find um, a sepia tone. Um, let me just get one. I jotted one down so that I could give you a rough idea. So if you try in this uh, hex code box here it's called hexadecimal color I've discovered so that's why it's called hex code but we're going to pick a hexadecimal color that's in a sepia tone and for this one I'm going to have 4a my caps are locked hang on 4a uh, 2a 08 there we go and we've got a nice sepia color and I'm going to click OK on that one once I've done that um, I'm going to change the uh, blending mode for this layer and it's above my picture layer and I'm going to change it to screen and straight away you can see I have a lovely sepia image if that's a bit too brown for you you can come up and change the opacity to make it a bit lighter but I'm quite happy with that I like that color I think whoops <laughs> just make sure I don't have that too big I quite like that color I think it gives it a nice vintage tone and the next step is to add a texture layer so I'm just going to plop that onto my canvas and you'll see that it's appeared at the top there that's exactly where I want it I'm going to click on the move tool and I'm just going to make sure that that is the right size I'm actually going to I like this texture so I'm just going to resize it to exactly the same roughly as my image bring it down lovely click OK and just making sure right yeah I'm happy with that and then I'm going to come up to the texture and once again I'm going to put a screen blending mode on top there and you should be able to see if I just get a bit closer Oops, not that close. <laughs> that I now have all of these kind of creased lines on my image, giving it that kind of old look. I'm just going to come down and show you again. You can see here, if I took that off and put that back to normal. Oops, there you go. And we go back onto screen and you can see now it's added that to the image. If it's too much for you, again, change the opacity and it will just lighten that slightly and make it not so pronounced, okay? I'm just going to bring mine up a little. That's brilliant. And um, I'm just going to zoom out again so you can see what I'm doing. And so I'm quite happy with that as it is. And I'm just going to come up to image and I'm going to crop it. Oops, it's just giving me a minute, it's just changing everything for me, which is fine. I wanted it merged, I've just pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Give it a second, it's merging and that's absolutely fine because we do that afterwards because I'll be editable this. There we go. So it's just merged it all for me so that I can crop all the layers together. That's what Photoshop's done. It said, hang on, you need to merge first. So I'm just going to dip that there. Ramping my image. I can see a bit of brown along this side just here, which I don't like around the outside. It's going to crop the image time. Just 
to take those out so I'm just going to crop a little bit there nope don't want that one let's try that again there we go just going to crop right the way down and just come in slightly so that I don't get that brown part there we go more than happy with that so as you can see I've now created a sepia toned kind of creased look to the image giving it that beautiful vintage look and just be aware of your order in the layers make sure you've got your texture at the top then your color fill then your image okay and make sure that you screen off the texture and also the color fill and that will give you this beautiful vintage image if it goes wrong if you're unsure make sure you look at your layers play around with them until you get the um, effect that you require but it should be texture then your color fill and then your image at the bottom remember with the blending modes you are always affecting the two layers the layer you've got highlighted and the one below okay that's how you make sure that your blending mode is in the right place so as you can see here my color fill is affecting my dragon my texture is affecting my color fill i hope that's helped you guys until next time craft yourself happy